What's up everybody? Gorgeous morning. A little chilly, but pretty clear, a little hazy out here. Uh, follow my tracks out from yesterday to fish a spot that we did and uh, hopefully I'll get onto some Lakers, maybe some whiteies, maybe a burbot. Uh, who knows? All I know, I'm like in the abyss, nobody around me. I hope nobody comes around me. I like this. I like being out in the open. I like having areas like this to myself. There's so much water on Simcoe to explore. Everyone fishes the same stuff in Kevin Felt Bay and all that. Just get out and explore, man. The whole, the whole lake from Innisfil to the north end to the east side, even the south side, Willow Beach, Jackson's Point. Like, there's so much water. Just get out and explore. Let's get set up. phone reading about the effects of Wi-Fi while you're sleeping. <laughs> All of a sudden this fish came up. Gave chase. It's a decent sized laker. Not a giant, but a good one. I've said it in some of my other videos, I've got the rod down the hole. It's because these fish run sideways a lot in the shallower water. And the ice is pretty thick. i got 15 inches here right now, so I just want to keep the line from bumping on the ice too much. Oh, he's right here. Right here. trying to get his head in the hole. He's here. Head's almost in. A little bit of pressure, not too much pressure. Feels good to get that out of the way after the slow morning that I've had. I can get a weight on that. I think that's probably about a 13 pounder. Maybe a little touch more than that. Right there. Good solid Simcoe fish. And we are looking at 
a natural as well. <coughs> Try and get her back in here. Give her a minute. It was a tough fight, so there she goes. Yes. underneath the ice hasn't run yet just doing a lot of thrashing not much of anything else Again, I gave it a few rips, banged it on bottom a little bit, and then just let it sit a little higher up off bottom. And this just shot up pretty quick. As soon as they start shooting up, I start taking it away from them a little bit and uh, just trigger that predatory instinct in them. It doesn't always work. And if it doesn't, you can always just put it down on bottom and bang it off bottom a little bit, see if you can get them going that way. But in this case, it worked. Got some bubbles here. Got the fish out the hole. I'm just trying to turn his head. Oh, it came off. No big deal. Wasn't a big one. Maybe an eight or nine pounder. It's uh, pretty small for this area. I'll take them. I don't know if that's a different fish or what. They just came down with it. The... Yeah, there's a different fish on it right now. There's a different fish down there. Two of them. All right, guys, so it looks like that's a wrap for my morning. Uh, unless something comes in while I'm filming this outro here. But pretty slow morning. I got to pack up and head to work now. Uh, tangled with a couple fish, so I can't complain. I only fished one spot. I never moved at all. I was a little stubborn, knowing that there's some big fish in this area. And uh, ended up getting that one 15 pounder. I lost one at the hole. And I had a few kind of close calls with some fish on bottom. But overall, pretty slow. It's going to be a while before I get out again. So another week or so almost. And uh, hopefully then I can get some big fish on the ice and pop some more videos out. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, share, do all that stuff. I appreciate it all, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.